during World War II, the German paratrooper and all Luftwaffe aircrew parachutes were based on the Irwin Type A harnesses. It was developed in 1921 during field trials where they collected samples of dozens of World War I parachutes, tested them and combined the best features. During World War II, German paratrooper harnesses relied on a wide belt around their torsos. Two parachute risers were hooked to the sides of the belt and joined at a swivel above the jumper's shoulders. This suspended him at a 45 degree forward lean. Since he landed face first, he needed special padded boots, knee pads, elbow pads and padded gloves. The awkward landing prevented first generation German paratroopers from carrying anything more than pistols and grenades. Many died trying to reach canisters containing their rifles. The advantage was that compared to the British and American designs, the parachute had a lower opening altitude, meaning that the paratrooper could be dropped from a lower flying aircraft, reducing the time they would dangle helplessly in the air to be shot at. The RZ-20 was in service with the German airborne troops from early 1941 and was used by them up until 1945. It was a completely new design compared to the earlier models with it having four quick release buckles. This meant the soldier had a swift exit from it, allowing unhindered combat. The last combat jump of the Farmschirmjäger was during the Battle of the Bulge in December 1944. The German army dropped a battalion of paratroopers with vertical harnesses and steerable triangular parachute canopies. The new canopies resembled the triangle parachute invented in the United States in 1928. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel on PayPal. Details in the description box.